Good morning. Good morning. Sorry, I was in the bathroom and then the trash truck was outside making a lot of noise, so I had to wait. Hello, everyone. It's -a me, Maxi. Hello, 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 hello. Welcome back. Welcome, welcome. welcome. All right. <laughs> Welcome to the pre-show, it's -a me! <sighs> How's everyone doing? Hello! Hi Chippy! Hi, hi Early Joe Star! Hi Dale! Hi Kitty! Hi Dallas! Hello, hello! Welcome back! Welcome! <sighs> Alright, Maxi! Where, where have you been, Loka? Okay, so, um... I was incredibly tired and sick on Monday and that haunted me until Tuesday and I'm not gonna lie to you um, I was not feeling good this morning but then again here we are pushing along why because we're champions that's why why because I'm a crazy bitch and no one can stop me cool and I I'm jumping back into game development that's right it's just full-on game dev now I had a meeting with Kitty on Friday. <laughs> Hi, Valentine. Welcome back. Welcome. I had a meeting with Kitty on Friday, and we decided to make the jump. Um, I was having a lot of issues with Twine, and I, I can literally t today. I'm gonna take it a little bit easy. There will be art today, but there will be mostly the sign today. I want to walk you guys through what I want the UI to be for the game. Uh, and I'm also gonna tell you I'm gonna be real with you and tell you exactly why I stopped using twine um, Long story short. I was doing way too much with twine um, The way that twine works as an engine is that everything is contained within one HTML file, right? Like one HTML file contains the entirety of your game easy peasy lemon squeezy, right? Images can go on other files or on other folders, but whatever it doesn't matter the HTML has all of the code, okay? in preparing this game previously on twine i discovered an issue with the way that twine deals with its data um the issue with twine is that it, it like in the split second bef be between you loading a scene and it load and it actually appearing on the screen um twine reaches into its code grabs the the code that is supposed to go for that page and then displays it in front of you the issue is that the computer goes so fast um, that images appear before everything else renders and if those images have animations on them like for instance the slime jumping all of those animations would re reset a second after every screen transition and for a good while for a good while, uh, I was feeling like I could just work around it. I'm like, you know what? If the animation resets once every screen transition, it's fine. I can make do with it, right? And as I was working on a better UI, everything just kept breaking. Um, it turns out that having multiple... Like, I was just doing too much with Twine. I was just doing too much with Twine. So I made the decision to change game engine and you know where it's already 11. Let's just dive right in <laughs> Let's just go right and at the count of three two one boop. Hello everyone, it's a me maxi don't mind the trash outside <laughs> Hello, hello, welcome back. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, Dallas says four or three. I downloaded four. Uh, especially because the add-on that I want to use with it, Dialogic 2, is available only for 4, so... Oh no, Dale, I hate that. <laughs> Hello, everyone, I'm back. You might have seen I have a new schedule image. You saw that. Um, also, by the way, uh, this week's schedule is really simple because I missed two days. Uh, today we're making art. Tomorrow... Get excited! Tomorrow... Plagues with an eye are beginning a tabletop role-playing campaign titled the part-timer <laughs> uh, Plex will be playing as an orc moving into a new town uh, I'm, I might just I might just straight up just run it as Iron Valley so uh, get excited for that I had a lot of fun drawing this image is this what Plex with characters look like no 
I just had to draw an orc, and I'm like, you know what, this is kind of the vibe that Plague was giving me. So yeah, get excited to meet uh, the part-timer tomorrow. Yeah, so uh, that's tomorrow, and on Friday, I'm just gonna play video games. Friday is too much nonsense to get work done, so I'm just gonna play Balatro. My plan is to do like a couple runs that I'm like, here's what the game is supposed to be played like. And then I'm just gonna grind to beat Orange Steak, because I have not been able to defeat the Orange Steak. Maxi, orange steak? I'm not even hungry. Ha 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 ha. You're all so funny. You're all so funny. All right, so. Is it updated orange steak now? Wait, hold up. Did they. Wait, wait, what? 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 Balatro. Did they patch. The, wait, Dallas, explain. Did they patch orange steak? Because. Because I. With the perishable jokers. Wait, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Wait, ho whoa, 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 whoa. Balatro. Orange steak. Uh, I don't see anything on the wiki other than, like, booster packs cost one more per ante. Is that a beta patch or is that, like, a, just a, a new patch? Legitimately, orange steak is like... It's not impossible. But it's the first time I've been holding R. You know, if I start up a run and it doesn't look like I'm gonna get anything good in the first round, I just immediately reset the run. Because you pretty much have to get multiplier by the end of the first wave. Uh, otherwise, you're not making it into anti-3. You're not gonna make it through anti-2 if you have absolutely no multiplier. Anyways, today's not Balatra, today's Game Design Day. Hello. First and foremost, hi there, the name is Maxi, pronouns are they them. Cool. Uh, and yes, um, I, I, I did a ton of research. Oh, it hasn't been rolled out of beta yet. Wait, hold up, hold up. Uh, Balatra, orange, steak, beta, patch. Someone's complaining, okay. Someone's complaining, okay. People complaining on, on the internet, okay. What a surprise. Uh, 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 uh. Scaling in white, green and purple stakes is more forgiving. Oh wait, has a perishable joker mechanic and gold stake has rental jokers, excuse me? Oh, debuffed after five rounds, interesting. Oh, interesting. Okay. Kitty says gamers mad on the internet? No way. The most oppressed group of all, gamers. First shop always has a buffoon pack. Holy crap. Also, he hello. <laughs> Wrong account, but it's still I love you. Hi, hi, Ronnie. Welcome back. Welcome. Welcome. Hi, Arsenic. Welcome back. Hello, hello. Every day I see mad gamers. It's so true. <laughs> what wrong account? Okay, listen now. Hi, Siskers. Welcome back. Welcome. No worries, Siska, it's okay. Uncommon, rare, negative, polychrome, holo, and foil tags all make their jokers free? Excuse me? Excuse me? Minicars have buff numbers? Oh my god, when is this patch? I, I might have to play with the beta version of this patch, because there's no- I mean, you know what, screw it, we'll just- we don't, we'll just play the hard version, screw it. Dude, remember Mad Cat, Mad Cat's controllers? Dude, I miss them. All right, anyways, hello, welcome to Maxi Talks about their game. All right, so the, the I, I I feel like I might have to change the name of the game, but tentatively, let's just keep calling it Ferrum Fantasia. So, what are we designing? I am making this has gone from being a web game to being a game that you will just literally just launch on your computer. I might still make it HTML, HTML5 compatible, so you can just play it on a browser, but nonetheless... 
It's gonna be called Feather and Fantasia. It's Fair and Fantasia. Okay, so what is Fair and Fantasia? Is <laughs> it's an analog JRPG. Uh, alternatively, let's call it analog JRPG. Analog JRPG. That is with an asterisk. Is JRPG inspired? Hi, Duppy. Welcome back. Welcome. So, what I mean by analog is that. Uh, Fair and Fantasia is an RPG um, that simulates the experience of you playing a tabletop role-playing game with a game master. Um, it is, in all essence, <laughs> damn it, Cisco. Uh, in all essence, it is a choose-your-own-adventure game. But instead of it being filled with random deaths, instead it's open-ended. Oh, hi, Safifi. Welcome back. Welcome. Thank you for coming in. Hi. How you doing? Uh, but instead of the game being filled with random deaths, instead the game has uh, crafting, gathering, it's open-ended. Aw, thank you, Doppy, that's so sweet. I hope you and your family have fun playing Dwarf Romantique. <laughs> thank ya. Uh, so the game simu simulates you playing a tabletop role-playing game with a game master. That is what the game simulates. Now, I'm putting my foot down. This is going to be weird. But weird is somehow, is sometimes better, okay? Hear me out. This is an analog JRPG. Because you are required to write down your stats, to write down your notes, and to bring your own dice. The game does not do dice rolling for you. The game does not track your stats. Again, this game will simulate you playing a tabletop role-playing game with the game master. And I want to in I want to inspire the player to keep notes because there will be dungeons that have layouts, there will be side quests that, you know, have to be resolved with a little bit of puzzle solving. So I want players to be writing down notes. I want players to be keeping track of things and the player curiosity will be rewarded at every turn. That is something that I want the game to do. I want the game to reward curiosity. There's going to be a lot of little hidden things everywhere. That sounds weird. I'm in. See, like, if you're asking me, like, why why I want to make this, first and foremost is that the game. I don't want the game to roll dice for you. Because in that case, the game just becomes... Um, a bad choose your own adventure, also known as a choose your own adventure, where you just flip through the pages and just keep resetting every time you die. Uh, a clickathon, as you may, you know, just click through menus. That is not what I want to do. Kind of like that, Dallas. Kind of like that. And also, the game will have a very strong password system. Uh, password, just in general, where you can speak a specific word to certain NPCs to unlock specific dialogue paths. So the game will tell you, you have unlocked a new password, write it down. Uh, and these may allow you to uh, na uh, find ways to solve problems that you normally wouldn't be able to solve. Anyways, um, so why am I making this? I'm making this because I wanted to make... I love RPGs, I really do. And I keep thinking... I keep hearing people, everywhere I go, I, see, I hear people saying, I want to play role-playing games, but I don't have anybody to play them with. Okay, well, I'll play them with you. In the form of this... <laughs> this game, I'm creating a world for you. You pick a class, you pick a race, uh, and you just dive in. That's it. Uh, so, uh, the the main impetus for me to make this game, like, Max, why not just make it a, why not just make it a full-on RPG, Max, eh? Because that's not what I want. Like, like I, I, I don't want little guys walking around a map triggering random fights where you just select the fight command. I want this to be an open-ended game. And the other thing that is really important for me is that I want this game to be uh, minimal in the amount of assets that I have to make so that I can make more content for it faster and more effectively. Uh, so instead, so uh, this will be clear to you in like two seconds when I explain the UI that I have in mind. 
But instead of having to design like dungeons, <laughs> we have Dragon Quest at home for four dollars. Yeah, you just go play Dragon Quest. Also, this game is very much inspired for me. I was inspired by the open-ended um, way of solving quests in in BG3. Uh, also, I love the open the open-ended nature of games like RuneScape. So I want players to be able to go around crafting gear. I want players to be able to go around gathering stuffs. Uh, I want I want it to feel like it's a big world. So open-ended, big world. And the other thing that I think will make me stand out is that a lot of fantasy games, uh, namely RPGs, focus on a little bit of a dark and grim setting. Uh, things are bad, everyone hurts, everything sucks for everyone. I'm not gonna do that. This setting, I forgot that I don't have a timer by the way set up. Uh, Pomodoro. Pomodoro timer. All right, we're gonna start focusing at the count of three, two, one, boop. Okay, so, where was I? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Um, I want this to be a cozy game. Uh, there will still be things at stake, but as you can imagine from the art we have created up until now, you know, the, the game has a, an inherently um, easygoing art style. You know, uh, the, both colors. You know, the the enemies don't look particularly threatening. You know, it's it's. I want it to be kind of cute. I want it to feel like a world you can get in and get lost in. You know, like uh, much like the worlds created by Iron Valley, I want this to be a cozy place you can come in and have fun. Dallas is like the Zelda apocalypse where there's a bad thing off in the distance, but people are still doing okay is the vibe I get so far. Kind of like that. There's definitely like, the bad thing is way further, 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 further away. In fact, the bad thing is like a thousand years in the past. And also, um, another essence of the coziness in this game is that um, you're playing as a hero who saved the world, and now you get a chance to live in the world that you saved as opposed to just, you know... Um, uh, living in the ashes of the of the cataclysm. Uh, so that's the idea right there. Here's where we're at. So I chatted with Kitty a lot about what the AI for this game would look like. Uh, Maxi, what did you go into this whole change? You know, last time that you were game game devving, you sounded pretty happy and confident. Uh, 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 things changed, baby. <laughs> things changed. Um. I, I kept looking at, at what I had made in Twine. I kept looking at that UI that was just two boxes and I was not happy with it. Listen, listen, this is not procrastination, okay? I'm not procrastinating making the game happen. It's just like I want the game to look a particular way. And I had a big talk with Kitty. We were figuring out the UI and I had a couple of ideas. And this is the one that we decided made more sense for the setting. So. Oh, actually, in fact, I have the old UI literally right here. Let's go look at this old ass UI that I did not do not like. It was it was just too this UI was just too simple. I'm sorry. Like it was just it's just too simple. And it, it didn't give me there's also so much wasted space, by the way. There's so much wasted space, like. There's also so much wasted space, and like like I I I, I programmed so much of this. Under the assumption that players would increase or decrease the font size. And I'm still going to be making the game scalable. So that, you, you know, depending on your device, it still looks good. But a bit more smartly than just leaving a bunch of empty space just in case, you know. This is not making the best use out of the real estate. So, after I, come, I, I did this, I'm like, okay, kitty. What if the UI for the game was kind of like a stage? What if it was kind of like a stage? You know, there's you have like a little bit of you have pillars going on here, kind of like you know, the, like like the archway of a theater with the background being right here, you know. And I was thinking, okay, the the what the things that would change between scenes is the background and the actor in the center. Um, the dialogue would be this scroll here that you know text would appear in front of, and choices would appear in the form of cards on the bottom of the screen. You would pick the card, and then that would be the action for that turn. I showed this to Kitty, and immediately, there were concerns. Kitty was like, it looks, w first off, it looks way too dark. 
with I which which I could absolutely agree with. It looks way too dark. And it doesn't really fit the aesthetic of the game. You know, all the darkness around it. You know, it's definitely nice high contrast. You know, I love me high contrast, but it wasn't what we were looking for. So I sat down and I started brainstorming ideas. What can we do? What can we do? And then it hit me. If this is a game where you are playing a tabletop role-playing game with a Game Master, why not make it look like that's what like like that's what's happening? Why not make it so that, you know, in the center of the screen is the Game Master's window, or the, the Game Master's, uh, you know, screen, and to the sides, you, you are sitting at a table, you know, there's a, there, there's, um, a little, like, mat for the, for the minis or whatever, and as, as units pop up on the battlefield, uh, they actually appear as two-dimensional objects in the world. And also, as you go into various locations, you know, bits of bits of decoration also pop up, pop up, up uh, kind of to give you the idea, like, oh yeah, of course, I am, I am in a, uh, I'm currently in a uh, in a forest, so you know, there's a little like, a little like patch of ore in here, you know, and then like a little bit of leaf, you know. Kitty, yeah, Kitty says that um, uh, our inspiration was a mix of Inscription and Paper Mario. That is absolutely correct. Um, so my goal for today, and you know, for, you know, for instance, by the way, uh, to, to better, to better illustrate what I mean is that let's say, you know, let's say that for instance, you're fighting in some old ruins. Let me just clean this up. You're fighting in some old ruins, right? And by the way, this is supposed to be like the little, like, uh, you know. The, the little grid with all the minis in it, whatever, is fine. You know. So you're fighting in, in ruins, right? So, you know, imagine like an, like an old ruin, like a pillar appears on the side. Again, these are all 2D images. I'm not... There will be like two 3D models, but we'll talk about those in a minute, okay? You know? And then we have like, like a toppled over, like, you know, pillar over here, some patches of grass. And then, of course, the enemy you're fighting. Let's just draw like a ghosty, you know? You know, maybe like a little shadow underneath, you know, that, that is pre-baked, by the way. Um, and so these elements, also, if, if you're looking for another piece of inspiration, um, uh, the Legend of Bumbo, by the way, is kind of what we're shooting for here aesthetically. So, of course, in the bottom would be like, you know, the, the speech bubble for the for uh, for the, the game master who will be speaking for all the characters uh, and uh, when. So are these billboards in 3D space or purely 2D rendered on top of each other? They will be billboards, yes. They will they will be bill billboards. Bumble want coin. <laughs> uh, and we're thinking the current way we're going about it is that when you're given when your player is given chances, they will appear choices that will appear on top of everything as thought bubbles. They will appear on top of everything as thought bubbles, and you click on you click on a thought bubble to pick to pick that as your action. You know, and then you, of course you're gonna have like a nice little. You know, and then you know you you grab your your mouse pointer, you know, and you're like, let me just uh, do this, and there we, go. there we go, and then we're like, click click, you know. This is the idea so far. Now. Sorry, side note, we should buy a Bumbo now that I have the Steam Deck. Dude, we should buy Bumbo! Um, so, this is the idea for the UI at the moment. So, Kitty, also Kitty, uh, I have, I have news for you, by the way. So, originally, I, I told Kitty that originally there would be no 3D models after doing, by the way, I've done a ton of research on Godot, by the way. I have put in, like, double digit amount of hours doing research there will be for the beta release there will be two 3d models on the screen 
Okay? Just two 3D models. Okay? Ev the table? The table is a 3D model. Which, let's be entirely honest, it's just a rectangle. You're never going to see the edge of the table. It's just going to be a rectangle. And the other 3D model is the DM screen. Which, again, is literally just three rectangles. That's it. These are the only... Th the only two 3D elements so far. Kitty and I have a... So, so... Here is where I am preventing myself from, um... Losing scope of this game and, like, you know, letting it blow out of proportion. But, but I'm, I'm gonna tell you one of my plans, okay? I'm gonna tell you one of my plans. I would very much like... So are we doing a feasibility check by having an adventure with no separate paths, but the general aesthetic of a, of a, as a visual novel? It, um, kinda. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean. So as for paths, there, I, I don't envision. My, it is not my plan at the moment to have you like straight up have like completely different outcomes based on your choices. Um, I am looking more, more. I'm looking more at. Uh, I'm looking into it more as a um. You find different solutions to the same problem, and these all lead you to the same location. But as part of your choices, you'll be granted special passwords. And by submitting those passwords, or by giving those passwords, passwords to certain characters, you unlock bits of dialogue you normally would not have un unlocked otherwise. So for instance, let's say that if you defeat the, the, the Forest Lord, which is the, um, the big final boss of the demo, if you defeat that boss by fighting it, when you return to the person who told you to fight the bear, you can give them that password that you get uniquely, and you get a piece of dialogue that you are... Uh... <laughs> that you get a, a unique piece of dialogue, maybe a unique reward as well. Again, I, it is not my intention to have you go a uh, completely different paths. I'm gonna be 100% honest right now, here's my reasoning for that. And my reasoning is that, um... As soon as you split the path... Especially with the way that I'm designing this game, uh, you're basically doubling the amount of workload for half as much uh, gameplay. I would very much I I, I want I want you to think of this as the MSQ, okay? You play through this game like the MSQ of Final Fantasy XIV, except you're actually having fun. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That was not fair. That was not fair. Um, you know, you follow through the series of events, right? Some of them have different outcomes, but they eventually all loop back to the same thing. You get different rewards for doing different things. That's that that that's for sure right there. Um, but there isn't big overarching changes to the narrative or the story because I would like players to get to experience all of it, uh, or to get you know get to experience at least one version of it. Otherwise, you have you know you have like one player who experienced fifty percent of the content, and then the other one like you're making it. This, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm losing my uh, my trail of thought. I just don't want to make a bunch of content that the players won't get to play. That's it. That's it. I, I am okay with adding a bunch of like little Easter eggs and like little extra side quests and things here and there. I'm okay with that. As long as everything is on the same like plane, I'm happy. Why are we making these three models instead of 2D? Um, so. Why am I making them 3D models instead of 2D? Um, primar primarily because, and we consider this, Kitty and I, we, Kitty and I considered making all of this just completely 2D. And I, I did my research. I think it would not look as good if it was all if it was all 2D. It would look flat. The game would look flat unless I used a bunch of lighting effects. Um, and my intention is to have these 3D models have their lighting pre-baked in, in the style of the old school PS1 slash, um, GameCube? No, GameCube, forgive me, uh, N64. Um, so there is a clear, because my, my, my goal, and this makes sense if you think about it, if you, if you take a step back and think, um, this game is you playing a role-playing game with the Game Master. There's a clear de delineation between the real world and and the things that are happening, you know, in, in the theater of the mind. You know? There's a clear delineation between these things. 
And that's that that is the goal of using these 2D images. Uh, I, I I I did tests. I did tests. And legitimately, like, if this were if this was all 2D, it would look flat. And uh, again, I looked a lot into particle effects, I looked into lighting, and I think that the game might have more personality if the if the little lighting that I add into the game affects these guys as though they're two-dimensional objects. I think it might look better. I think it, it might look better. You know, I'm, I'm thinking of effects such as like, you know, you know, like for instance, where like I'm thinking of adding an effect where like when you can't, when you camp, you know, the lighting in the, in the room, in the scene gets all dark, you know, a little campfire appears in the center of the screen and it casts a little bit of light around it, you know, little effects like that to really sell the, um, the mood. So, uh, let me just, uh, do I want to clean this up? Nah, just draw it again. So as I mentioned, there will be two 3D models in this game. So my intention is with the uh, the later updates. My intention is with the later updates to um, add more. Kitty and I have plans. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> oh no, Kitty says, I'm so distracted because a student is fighting the managers and now it sounds like the CEO is fighting the managers. What? Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm so sorry, babe. Um, So, we were thinking... Pokemon Center Staff Battle Royale went, dude. It's, it's, uh, it's gonna be Joy? It's gonna be Nurse Joy versus Nur Nurse Joy? Mirror match? Maybe, maybe. Uh, the, the, my, the only thing, Dallas, is that, like, I work pretty fast. I, I'm not particularly concerned about that. Uh, but def there's definitely, like, um, you know, the minimum viable product. Like, again, like, as I, as I was saying, you know, we have plans. The demo will not ship with these things, okay? The demo will not ship with these things. But, but we're thinking of having unlockables in the game. So, here's the deal, okay? The game does not save your progress. We have a password system for returning to the areas that you were in before. There is no password system. So what does the game save? The game, as you trigger specific scenes, you unlock things to customize the screen. We're thinking of adding, you know, the ability to like, you know, you know, like, like, make it, make it really look like it's like your playing space. Adding like plants, adding like little mugs, adding like little, like just little knickknacks around the table to make it seem like it is your own lived-in space. Uh, we're thinking of adding customizability where you can, you know, you can customize what, what the board where the, uh, where the minis appear is, whether it's a magazine or like a chessboard or whatever. You know, we plan to allow this customization here. Customize what the actual game master screen is, the color of the table, if there's a mantle or not. Like, these are things that, like, we can add. Because thankfully, you know, it that is just textures, baby. You're like, Max, will I be a lot of a lot of work? Nah, baby. That's just changing the texture for the for the game master screen. That's nothing. You know? You wanna customize a table? Dude, that's just that's that is just literally a texture. You know, uh, the th the thing that goes in the middle of the table with the minis, that is, that is, that is, that is a flat billboard. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, you know? So, so, uh, one of the reward engines for this game, other than the sense of discovery and the curiosity of just experiencing all the little events that are in this game, <laughs> is that also I'm gonna have a little unlock screen it's like you have unlocked X out of so many uh, custom like um, cosmetics there you go yeah like you have unlocked you know zero out of 30 cosmetics available in this one chapter and I feel like players are really gonna love that players are gonna love being like I beat the demo but there were like 15 more co more more things I missed what I feel like that would be fun. 
So now, now that now that you understand where I'm coming from, we're gonna be making some placeholder assets. Namely, I would like to figure out what the hell the text box should look like. Um, also, as it was kind of hinted at with Dallas earlier, I am going to be making an ugly ass demo. What's the default resolution? I am going to be shooting for a default resolution of uh, 1920 about 1080. 1080, 1080p being the default. It will it will scale down to 720 easily. That that is just like the most standard resolution available. I feel like it might just work. You know, the game of course will have the ability for you to increase text size to make it more readable. That's all just still staying in there. That is not going anywhere. Um, so my goal for this stream, I want to make a bunch of placeholder assets, namely uh, text boxes. We gotta figure that out. I, ha I have an image here that I found. Someone compiled all the text boxes from the Paper Mario games. Uh, and I'm like, we we're gonna steal some of these for sure. I found this screenshot where I like the size of the, of the text box for this. So we might actually just steal this specific sizing here. So let me just gonna... This boyo is not exactly... Um, it is not exactly the correct size but you know what it's fine it's fine it's fine that's good enough for now so how big is this text box because i wanted to see in in uh, in relation to everything else and that and this text box appears to be like about 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 yay big about yay big Kitty, tell me what to draw. Yeah, Kitty, Kitty, tell tell Cisco what to draw. There was yeah. Uh, the timer was was started actually. Uh, we have approximately three minutes before break. Yeah, <laughs> Kitty says you know my answer. Draw love life. Oh my gosh. I mean, Siska, you should have known better. You a you ask for anything. Really throwing me a curveball here, Kittington. It just feels like a lot because I asked questions. Uh, oh, no worries. I mean, like, it definitely... It doesn't feel like it's been already half an hour. Uh, Siska, uh, look up Rena from Love Life. Just draw, just, just draw Rena, okay? She's one of us. So there is going to be... How many elements are on this goddamn scene? So I'm already looking at the text box. Also, I'm wondering if I should have the text box be floating or just have it be attached to the bottom. Hmm. How far do you reach down? You, you like, you don't touch the floor, huh? So as I was mentioning earlier, uh, I I am going, f uh, I'm 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 diving he f head first into this project now, um, and the demo is gonna be ugly. Okay, I want you all to understand the demo will not be pretty, but that's that's the thing. It's gonna be the beta. Uh, I, my plan is to release that to the Discord so you guys can play test and tell me what you think, and then the real, the the real OG, the real Slim Shady. That I'm gonna release publicly to uh to itch.io and etc. And hell, I don't know, man. If people like it, I might put it on Steam. I don't know. I don't know. It's weird. I don't know. Do I have plans for this to be on Steam? No. But who knows? Do people like it? Oh my god, I'm like a real game dev. Please wishlist my game on Steam, please. All right, so I want, let me just try just making you like very round. Just kidding, kidding, we were talking about this, right? And it's like, round shape always means friend. 
Round shape always means friend, so I think the text should be rounded. Now, I think to indicate that it is the the game master speaking, even when even when it is um, a different character, I think there should be like a little a little like little tail over here. You know, a little tail to indicate that you know it is in fact the game master behind the screen talking to you. Talking to you? I might still... I don't know if I want to have the icons on the... Because what are the icons that the player will need? They will need, they will need options. And a log. I'm going to have to figure out how to institute a log. That, that's a feature for later. Oh my god, it's happening? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Anyways, that's the timer. Uh, at least now we'll know what to say to people. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Alright, so. It, it, we're now officially on break. I would like you all to take a second to get up and stretch. If you've been listening for at least 25 minutes or more, ugh, get up and stretch. By the way, uh, if you haven't already, please consider leaving a like on the video. I don't know. You know, it helps a lot. It goes a long way. You know what to do. Uh, now, I'm already, I'm looking at this screen. I'm looking at the screen right now while I'm stretching. And I'm like, that Game Master screen is way too big. It's way too big. You know, you know, there's going to be a, you know, again, this, these are not perfect measurements. I still have to model, you know, the, the table. The table, I gotta, I gotta model the table which is just gonna be a square a rectangle I'm not worried about it you know I, I'm pretty sure I can figure out how to model a square in fact I think you can actually model just like flat rectangles inside of the dough actually although hell you know I'll download I'll download blender I'll download blender I am thinking that the that, uh, the knickknacks you can add on the desk will probably all be 3d models so I'm gonna have to figure out for the later release how to draw, how to model like a plant, how to model a cup. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm assuming that that won't be too hard. It's a mug. How difficult could it be to model a mug? Yeah, just, 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 just draw an octagon and then put a little handle on it. Okay, I am T posing to assert my dominance. Now I'm gonna uh, draw circles with my hips in the in the classic Chippadee style. Okay, all right. So definitely that screen is way too gosh doodly darn big. Okay. I am done stretching. I have my headphones back on. I'm gonna drink some water. I sure hope please do stay hydrated. Now, I'm wondering if I can get away. I've got to get away. Cool. If I can, like, depending on the perspective, if, 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 if we do a perspective where I don't have to show this dark, the, the, the void behind the table, I might just straight up just have it, the table go on forever. Maxi, what do you mean by that? What do I mean by that? What do I mean by that? All right, so we, we want we want a little bit of space. More than a little bit of space. The center area is going to be the longest dinner table. I mean, like... I mean, like, listen. The, you heard of the long dark? Well, get ready for the long dinner table. It would be funny if, like, in the options you can set it to be a round table instead, but that's kind of dumb. That's kind of dumb. In 
It's like, oh, it's a round table. Big freaking difference. Oh, I guess people love customization. So, like, I don't know. Okay, there's 15 seconds left on the break. I'm gonna just take a second to close my eyes, take a deep breath. Look at me. I'm respecting breaks. You should all be proud of me. All right. Back, back into the grind. 25 minutes on the clock. Get set. Go. All right. So, what should be the the space area? You know what? Actually, get me a 2D grid with uh, 192 as the the size. These squares now. Can I increase the the thickness of this of of the of these lines? Oh, there we go. Thickness. There we go. All right. So. This grid now that I've put on here, this grid is exactly, uh, each, each block is a tenth of the screen. Uh, horizontally, of course. So th this will give us a little bit of an idea for the space we're looking at here, okay? So, I definitely think we can get away with the, with the screen being, like, even higher up. So, let's see we put it here, okay? Let's say the screen, let's say the screen literally takes, I think this might be fine. <laughs> no worries, Chippy, have a lovely rest of your day. I love your friend, though. Take care. So long, eh, Bowser. Stay jelly, Chippy. Max, just cause, just cause Chippy is a jellyfish, Maxi, really, Maxi. Listen now. So, if if the screen was went up up that away, if it went up to this away, how much table would we have to display? The entire, just only table? No table? No table at all? There would have to be some sort of like. Oh, there is no. I forgot that I don't have the symmetry tool no more. Okay. I mean, like, it might be fine enough if it's like this. Let's assume we did something like this, okay? Because I feel like there has to be just like a little... It's going to show a little bit of the table. This looks better. This looks better than what we had on before. Yeah, that was way too crammed in. Okay, so now... Let me go back to the other kind of grid. And I'm thinking, how much should the little... Table element in the center take? How much space should this take? So we're looking at like a, the text box takes about 20% or um, was one, two, three, four, five. Let's say about like six. Let's just say like about six. A third of the screen is text box. Is that accurate to this? One, two, three. It's more like a fourth of the screen is text box. I don't intend to have big text boxes full of text. So maybe, maybe we could get away with only a... A quarter of the screen being um, since we're gonna be looking at verticals let's change it around uh, and it's 108 instead there you go now this is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten this is now now we're looking at like vertical space okay so the game master screen do appear to be taking about 30% of the screen I feel like that's necessary to give you the idea that you're in fact playing a role-playing game I'm not sure about the text box, but let's play around with the, the little mat we were talking about earlier, okay? I think it would be kind of cute. This is absolutely not accurate, by the way, but you know we'll, we'll make it work. I definitely think it should go beyond a little bit of the of the player area for sure. 
So it's like like this. This is probably not correct. No, that is actually correct. Okay, okay. Definitely, the division of this grid has to be different. But let's uh, let's just call this section here is just the mat, okay? And of course, I'm thinking, you know, in the customization settings, you can change this from the the classic role playing grid. Just make it, I don't know, make it a uh, a an anime girl or something. I don't know. Listen, we will figure this out as we go. So this is this is okay, but it, there definitely needs to be a little bit of distortion. Now, Maxi, how are you gonna do the, the, the distortion? FOB, baby! This this is gonna be a square, but from the player's point of view, it's gonna look more like this. It's gonna look more like it's gonna look more like a this, okay? It's gonna look more like this thanks to the power of uh, of FOBs. That is field of view, baby. Okay, so. So let's just, for the sake of consistency, let's put you like down here. The text box will mostly be displayed most of the time. So we have the mat, we have the table. We have the table, we have the screen. And of course we also have the text box. Text B number one. I thought you said FOB like followed boy. Oh my god. I mean, I don't mind. You know, I, I I've been known to get down with with the follow and with, with the boys who fall out. I have been known to get down with some boys who fall. So, is what else? That's it, right? So, let's take all of these concepts that we have already, like, looked into. They're an Illinois band? I didn't know that. Yo. Shoutouts to the boys who fall. Alright, so. During game, the enemy sprites will appear on the mat. Dead center on the gosh doodly darn screen. Now, some of them will look pretty small, and that is because we want the sense of scale to really wow the player when they fight a boss and the guy takes like literally like this much space on the screen, okay? You know, this is kind of the, like the, like, is sprites in this game function by RPG logic where like bosses are huge? That's the plan, okay? So regular enemies and NPCs will, you know, will, will be relatively small. And yes, there will be billboards as they're known. It's, just, it's, it's a, it, it, it is just straight up a, um, a two-dimensional texture in three-dimensional space. And alongside with the, uh, with the sprite. Sorry, I'm looking at this slime and I'm like, it's not cute enough. There we go. Uh, so, yeah, that, that now he's angry. Whatever, it's fine. Uh, so, along with that, of course, we have a uh, little bit of decoration to get to you know add to the sense that you are you know this is the stuff that you're imagining as you're playing, right? You know, let's actually also just uh, you know they they will not they will not be symmetrical. There you go. And again, if you look, if you want to look for inspiration as to what this would look like in motion, uh, consider Cult of the Lamb.
There we go. And you may be thinking, Max, isn't it gonna is it gonna be isn't it gonna be a lot of work for you to like you know do this layout for every single encounter? Nah, baby, this is gonna be Persone. And since the demo only includes uh, the, a, a cave, it has the hills, uh, it, it features a settlement and, and the forest, I only need to make four total little background uh, images. There might be a little, a little differences here and there, but ultimately this is not a lot of work. This is definitely much less work than making a tile set and creating like unique backgrounds for every single location you go to. And again, you know, this is supposed to be happening in, in the theater of the mind. And again, this, these guys are just going to be straight up two, dim two dimensional textures just floating in the ether. And of course, they will have animations, you know. Just like I had the animations for the little slimes before where they were bouncing up and down. I will add an animation that makes the grass appear like it's swaying side to side. That That is absolutely not difficult at all. The rock, I don't think the rock will have an animation. I'm going to be entirely honest with you. We could even have a thing later where I could have like... The tree is split into two textures, the actual trunk and the, the 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 foliage on the top. And have the foliage actually animated while the trunk is not. That is stuff we can do later. Now, other other than, than Dwayne, rocks are, are not necessarily animated. Last, last I heard. Last I heard. Sorry, I'm just imagining what, like, having the little, like, doodads on the side would look like. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that, that would be cute. It would be cute to just let players customize what their gaming space looks like, and I think that would be nice. But that's, that's stuff for the public beta. Again, you know. Am I concerned about how much work it would be to, like, model a plant? I don't think. I'm, I'm not concerned. How hard could it be to model a plant? How hard could it be to model a mug? Especially because I am abs I'm absolutely going for the the retro, like minimalistic uh, rendering style. So I'm not particularly, you know, I'm not shooting to look like a triple A game up in here. That is not my intention. And that's it. Okay, okay. So I have notes. Let me. I have handwritten notes. That's how serious I am. So, ah, yes, we need the mouse over overlay. Okay, perfect. The text choices. Okay, text choices. Okay, so. What other UI elements have we not decided yet on yet? So. I do need buttons for the player, for like player functions, like options and like whatever else. I could just, ugh, I, th I might have them just on the side. I feel like it's, it's just easier to have them over here. So let's create like a little like square here, a perfect square. It's a rectangle, forgive me. Uh, oh, my, my geometry license is... I, don't worry, I've put my geometric license in the in the mail. I was gonna say like I've put my uh, <laughs> I put my novel my novel Nobel no my Nobel geometry price in the mail so you can get it back. Do they give awards for geometry? All right, there you go. There's a space. There's space in here for three buttons. One of them is going to be option, Optionesses. It's going to be a little gear. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? 
I guess log. I guess, you know. It's log. It's log. It's better than bad. It's good. And I don't know what other third option. Customization, maybe? I don't know. There you go. That's it. Those are the three buttons the players get on their side. I, I, it won't be a square button, by the way. Don't worry about that. But I'm just, I'm just, I'm just placing things on from the UI onto the screen. So now, how many different types of text boxes do I need in this game? I definitely think I could even, I might be able to afford to. Um, no, okay. So here's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Cisco says love life doodle update. They just kept on giving this French layers, huh? Yup. What can I say? She's got layers. So I do think because this text box originally from the example that we stole, there was space for like a character portrait. I do think maybe we can afford to shrink it quite a bit. Because it is my intention. That might have been a little bit too much. It is my intention, by the way. I want to keep the text boxes in this game easy to read. By which I mean that I am not going to bombard you with a paragraph, okay? At most, at most... And, and we're talking about the absolute mostest, by the way. There will be three lines of text. I I will seek to never give you three lines of text. I'm, I'm telling you right now. I will... If, if, if I have failed... If I failed, don't tell me. But it is my... It is my... My mission... To never, under any circumstance, give you three lines of text to read. It will usually be one. Otherwise, it'll be two. And and three, I am only going to give you three lines of dialogue if there is a, a line break between them. That is my plan. Why? Because I know from personal experience that if you give players a block of text, they're not going to read it. If it looks like more than eight, eight letters, they won't read it. And this again about reading. So, that is very important to moi, as you can imagine. Do I have to color these? No. But I kind of want to, because I want to give more dimension to this whole drawing. And, I, and honestly, I feel like I'm going a little bit fast, so I want to slow down for a minute. Yeah, does it feel like I just jumped into work? I've been wanting to get back to work. I've just been sick, man. I'm so sick. Um, The matte. Okay, so what color will the matte be? Let's just make you, like, the skin tone for now. There we go. I, I gotta take off all these lines. What, what, why did I cover these guys with lines? Why did I do this? Just, just, to, just to prove that I could, Maxi? You were too busy wondering if you could. You never stopped to consider if you should. Dude, let me tell you, by the way. Oh, first and foremost, I, I know that I jumped into work without asking you all how you've been. So, please feel free to tell me in chat what you've been up to, uh, uh, what I missed. Uh, today feels like a Monday to me because I lost uh, two days of this week, but I uh, don't mind that. Tell me what you've been up to. I'm going to remove the freaking text that I put on there because it looks bad, but nonetheless. I'm going to quit my job. Uh, how do you feel about that? Do you feel about it positively or negatively?
Still dealing with their slow and dull rental? Dude. There we go. Also, by the way, you should all be proud of me. I changed my shortcuts. So whenever I, I whenever I finger up, is that really what I meant to say? Instead of changing to the sketch it's a sketch marker, it just changes to pixel layer. Because this is the, the pixel uh, brush, because it's literally all I do. Oh, that sucks, Cisco. I will say I have never seen that movie, but I am aware of that bit. That sucks. I hope I hope you find a better job. Also, unrelated but still related. Uh, could could, I, could you all please uh, send your power to Siska and Kitty? Uh, Kitty's supposed to hear back from the place they applied to. Literally, like, like this Friday. So if you all wouldn't mind just sending your energy to Kitty, I would really appreciate it. And to Siska, don't forget Siska. Send your energy to everyone who's like in between jobs at the moment. Yeah, what if it was just purple instead? I meant, what if it was just purple instead? Okay, okay. Okay, coloring these actually has helped a lot to just visualize what this is gonna look like. Also, can I just, actually, you know what? Don't merge you, actually, oh, there you go. This is actually much better. Without the squares, I can like legitimately see where I would like them to, to go. And I don't know, man. What color should you be? I don't know. We can just like go over like, just like go over there, there we go. That is probably a bad color. Almost as bad, but you know what? We'll make do with this. That's a lie. I'm going to try to fix it. Why do I keep doing that? There we go. Better? No, but that's okay. Siska so said earlier, I remember that I've been pretending to be an adult for five years. Let me know when you figure out how to stop pretending to be an adult because I because I, I haven't stopped pretending okay so can I just move the color palette like just that's dangerous but let's just put it in there for now okay so this is the way that I want like the UI to look I definitely want I don't want I don't want the enemy to be like in the front I want it to be a little bit near the back Again, I do absolutely like. <laughs> nah, you're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. I mean, I mean, I mean, I did ask you how your week has been. So don't feel too bad. Dude, it's all we have like a two minutes left. Oh, my God. Okay, so. How many text boxes does this game need? Honey, how many text boxes does your game need? That does look really cute, actually. A part of me is like, what if I made it all 2D? No. Hmm. A part of me is like, this doesn't look... I mean, like, again, this is a terrible sketch. I'm gonna... No, 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 no. I'm, I'm gonna try making it through. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try making two 3D models, and then we'll see where we go from. Worst comes to worst, I'll just literally make this, I'll just make this, um, two-dimensional instead. Otherwise, so, there's gonna be several types of text boxes. At the current moment, there's going to be a text box. There's a regular, regular dialogue, we're gonna just call it Diag. There's going to be, um, uh, out of character, uh, which is gonna be mostly for mechanical stuff. 
there is going to be a uh, prompt. And I think that's it. I think that's it. Let me check my notes again. Text box with buttons, text choices. Oh, the overlay. I think the overlay should also just be the overlay should probably just be another gosh doodly darn. Mm. This is this is this is tough. So thankfully, I have seen enough tutorials where I know what I'm trying to do over here. And I'm like, how do I make this? Cuz okay, so let me explain to you the the three-way set the the three-way section, by the way. All right, so <laughs> no worries, kitty. Have a lovely lunch. I love you. Take care. All right, guys. Kitty's gone. Now I can. Now I don't have to follow breaks anymore. Hell yeah. Why? When the wife is gone, I break all the rules. Okay. So there. He, here's how it works. Okay. So you can. If you upload a texture onto Godot, you can upload that texture as a um, as a uh, three by three um, texture. And what what does this do, Maxi? So this three by three texture, let me just kind of like draw like what what this would look like. In fact, I'm, I'm drawing what what it's gonna look like in the game right now. This is the power of research, by the way. Let's put you like here and. Let's give you like a nice little highlight color underneath. Why not? There you go. So, when I upload this to Godot, I'm gonna tell Godot. Hi, <laughs> thank. Welcome back. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. If this is your first time. Please consider leaving. Please consider checking the rules in the description. Uh, this is going to be a role playing game. Uh, it's going to be a role-playing game, a simulation. A role-playing game uh, where the main gimmick is that you're literally playing a tabletop role-playing game with a game master. So, w by submitting the texture for the text box as a 3x3 texture, what Godot does is that um, when scaling... <laughs> Ronnie, this is going to be a maxi game, so it's going to be great and cute. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you? So the way that it works is that, like, let's say that I want to stretch this box, right? Hold up, hold up. I did this incorrectly. You know, I want the box to scale. It will scale it based on the, on the notes that you have selected. So, for instance, even though it's a three by three, because we have all the parts of the box to, um, all the parts of the sprite to make to make a box of any size, it will literally always be a perfectly sized box. Anyways, that is what I wanted to get across. So that so, the issue, by the way, in case you're wondering why why are we even talking about this, is that I was thinking of doing regular sized boxes. But the only issue is that if you do an irregular sized box, it's gonna look a little bit funky, especially for something like um, like like a like a thought bubble maybe. Although maybe if it just looks like this, maybe that will work. Anyways, we are on break. By the way, we use a Pomodoro technique to uh, respect our breaks on this stream. So uh, by the way, we're also we're designing the UI right now. So please enjoy this uh, mock-up of the UI. And I'm gonna get up and stretch, please. I hope you do the same thing as well. All right, I'm up on my feet. So, I am reaching to the ceiling. I am lowering my arms slowly to my sides. I'm deposing to assert my dominance. I am now going to slowly, softly, gently lower my arms. I'm gonna bend down and touch my toes. Stretching is very important, especially for people like us who spend all day on the computer. You want to make sure you are gentle on your body. 
A and as Siska says in chat, remember to slowly gyrate your hips. That's right. Draw little circles with your hips. This one is very important. I learned it from my good friend Chippadis. And now I'm going to reverse the direction. Just drawing little circles with your hips. You know, when I first began doing these exercises, I could feel my hips being like, uh-uh, I don't want to move in this direction. What are you doing? But now, world of difference. But now, but now, world of tanks. Please use coupon code uh, MKIRIN at checkout to get 15% off your first monthly subscription of World of Tanks. That is a joke. I am not... <laughs> I don't I don't have a coupon code for anything. Use coupon code Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> this is cause this is a freaking plague ass bit. How dare you? Speaking of plague, by the way, uh tomorrow we're starting our we're starting a tabletop role-playing campaign on this channel. I uh, get ready to meet the part timer. Uh, I don't know this is what Plague's character is gonna look like, but I know he's playing an orc, so I'm like, you know what? Come on, Plague's worth not playing a uh, a Dilfalicious orc. Come on now. I know that guy. If there's one thing that guy does, is he he's gonna play a Dilfalicious orc, okay? Anyways, also can we please enjoy this thumbnail that I drew for for Nomia, by the way? <clears throat> yes, I sampled this from uh, the Vault Boy from Fallout, Fallout 76, by the way. Yes, that is actually on purpose. I've been wanting to use that, that like, template forever. I feel like it might really cute. And this is today today's thumbnail. I am, in fact, wearing a little Godot outfit. That's right, I'm inside of Godot. The call is coming from inside Godot. All right, so here's me thinking. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about you, kid. So I guess if I... Maybe we could just do what I, what I was talking about. And have... Um... Oh uh, yeah, that's what the outfit is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was I was being cute about it. I was be It's not very readable. I know. It's not very readable. Yeah, that's what the outfit was for anybody else wondering. It is in fact the little Godot icon, yes. It also looks like like Godot ate me, which I I I guess it is eating me. It is eating my time away, but Uh, by the way, uh, another work cycle. Maxi Godot it. There you go. I'm the Godotiest. Uh... <laughs> ah, I see. Yeah, I'm making this one in Godot. It's my first time doing like uh, big boy slash big girl development, so I'm excited. Uh, next work cycle begins at the count of one, two, and three. There you go. 25 minutes on the clock. So I guess maybe. I mean, like, if if we make it kind of look like this, is there a possibility that this would actually look like somewhat decent? This might this might work. Okay, so in that in that case, let, let let's kind of err err on the side of caution and. We're gonna have all the text boxes be the the three by three mesh. Okay, that saves a bunch of time, by the way. It also makes it really scalable too. Okay, so we're gonna do the three by three mesh for sure. So, how many different types of text boxes are there in this game? As we were previously s stating, let me actually hide this a little bit more. So, there is 
a rounded edge. It's not perfect, don't worry about it. This is all just sketching. So, we're gonna have a rounded edge. I'm pretty sure we have in we're gonna have the interior of it be white. Maybe we could have a blue outline underneath just for a nice like you know, little shadow effect. In fact, you know what? How about I just make this easier on myself? There you go. Alpha lock, fell. There we go. So maybe the textbooks looks like this, right? Um, the only thing that I, I just realized is that um, I just realized that the little end is not going to be the little speech bubble. Thankfully, I think we should be able to just, you know, we just make this guy always the speech bubble. Right? This might, this might still, this might still be doable. So, from a point of view, this is literally what the edges of the text box look like. I still think this is doable. Um... You may be wondering, Maxi, don't they have to be exactly the same all around so that you can copy them? No, they don't have to be. They don't have to be. So here we have a 3x3 three three mesh. This will be the entire... This will be the dialogue box for whenever. Da, dial, dialogue. Dialogue. So this is the dialogue whenever... Whenever the game master is talking to the player, hence the little arrow, whenever they are describing something, Whenever an NPC is talking, this will be the dialogue window. Done. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So, what else? There is also going to be a window. Can I just like, damn you so I can just copy you? Because I'm lazy. Work smart, not hard. All right, so. Max, what are you doing? Don't worry about it, okay? So, mama, 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 mama. Okay, so the other text box will be the thought bubbles. The thought bubbles appear in the game whenever the player has a command that they can use. This is how the player interacts with the world. Let me just off a lock you, fill you up, lower you a few points so that you look kind of like the other one. Easy. So let me actually just bring you down. Do this. There we go. So here we have, again, this, these are just placeholders. Don't worry about how they look like, mostly how they look bad. Don't worry about that. I can just, I can just redraw that, my, my dude. This is fine. All right, so. Here we have the, the thoughts. Thoughts slash commands. So the way that these, these will appear. Let me actually just grab all of you. Group you, hide you. So, when a player has a choice available to them, it will appear, or it will, it will appear out here as a thought bubble. <laughs> no worries. I used to suck at art, but I just I just I just started drawing art. Turns out it's all about practice. So, the uh, the possible commands for the player will appear as little windows on the screen so you with your little mouse. Whoop. You know, you you're going to go around. Whoop. You're going to just go like click 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 click. You'll select which option you want. There will normally only be four options. Uh, two on the right, two on the left. Arranged in this order if you're wondering what the numbering will be. There we go. <laughs> I don't know if I agree with that, Siska. Siska says, I think all artists suck fun fundamentally. Otherwise, they wouldn't have the motivation to keep improving. I think some artists are not interested in improving. I think all artists fundamentally make art. Some of them suck fundamentally. I fundamentally suck. Which is what it keeps me inspired to keep making art. And to keep improving. 
but am I inherently good at, am I, you know, let's just say that I have known people who, um, there's a quote, by the way, so, uh, an, an author who said, um, I hate writing, but I like having written, I knew writers who were like that, who they loved writing, but they hate it, they love having written, they were like, they loved having a book finished, but they hated writing the book. And would be kind of snobbish about like working on their pro, you know, on their stuff, improving their writing, because inherently they didn't like writing. They liked having written. They liked the this this the status symbol, I guess they the er, they earned with that, whatever that might mean. Uh, and I never really liked those people. I like writing. I like the process. Okay, and now here we go. Here's an, you know, a more <laughs> in-depth version. I guess it's like a sin curve. Hey, wh what do sins have to do with it? So, do we need any other? So there's also one more. Sometimes you like your art more. That's interesting. I wouldn't know what that's like. <laughs> I wouldn't know what that's... No, no, I do like my art. It's just, it's hard to feel positively about it sometimes. But that's just life. Uh, I'm very hard on myself. I'm my, I'm my worst, uh, my worst critic. You think you're being harsh on my game, buddy. Buddy. <laughs> No one's harsher than me. Anyways, um, so there's one more text box, and that will be um, a tooltip. There will be a tooltip when a player highlights a word that has specific text on it. Let's kind of, let's, I mean, like, legitimately, I can just have, like, go over here, grab you. All right, we're just going to put, like, a little, like. Ronnie says, I don't have enemies. I have myself. Sush's hair. It's so true. So there will be words in the game that can give you extra data, extra lore, extra mechanics, whatever, whatever. And mousing over those specific uh, terms, like so, will cause a pop-up window to appear. And I think this one will, this one will be the exact same format as the thought. Oh, hi, Jada. Welcome back. Welcome. <laughs> lore, it's so true. Listen, you gotta have lore somewhere, okay? I think it would literally just be the exact same format. It would just be like, you know, you can use the attack button to do the, this thing, thing, you know? And in that case, it can be the, uh, you know, the same thought format as the other one. I wanted to have one more. I guess we can have one more text box. And the last text was text box would be the text box for the. Oh, oh this little that, that little slide looks great. Holy crap. This this little slide here looks great. All right, so. I would like it to be, I want it to look completely different. So this is dialogue, this is thoughts and commands, also known as um, as uh, tooltips. And I want one more. I want one more window for when the game is talking to you directly. So I have this image. Someone on Reddit a long time ago found all the text boxes in Paper Mario. And I'm like, or almost all of them, let's be entirely honest. And and I'm, I was looking at these text boxes and I'm like, okay. Definitely, you know, I'm kind of already kind of grabbing this one over here. You know, I, li I like this one. We, I, I've talked about it, I've, I've talked about this before, but let's talk about it again. Um, round edges means friend. I, I want this game to be cozy. This is not going to be a dark, grim fantasy. This is going to be nice, cozy fantasy. You're a hero reincarnated after saving the world a thousand years ago. And 
you get to now live in the world that you saved that is the main setup for the game so we're going for nice rounded shape round means friend remember that round shapes mean friend in fact a slime is the ultimate form of this round means friend spiky means fatty everybody knows that everyone knows that you, you look at you look at a sea urchin and you're like get that mofo out of here you look at a bean you're like put that baby in my mouth so in baby mario they have these like textile kind of boards i guess indicating that it's text written somewhere i like this note here i like it but a part of me is like i have i can't foresee a situation in which i'm implementing the player reading text from a piece of paper i feel like the narrator would just be like you find that piece of paper it reads blank we do need addressing the player directly as a player, not as a, someone in the meta of this world. So I'm thinking something like this. Rounded edges just like before, but we have an inversion of the text. The text is white now instead of black as it normally will be. And I definitely, I love a pattern that moves behind it. That is absolutely adorable. Let's immediately just steal that. So in that case, this mf -er right here. So why 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 not just straight up just reverse it? We grab you, we grab you, we th we put you in there. I don't know how much I like this, but again, this is literally just a, a test. This is just a test. <laughs> and you know what i mean what's the opposite of, of the opposite of blue is spank so is this is this what these would look like actually i realize i don't want these to be rounded actually also sorry i just realized a place to call home is playing in the background and now now i'm, I'm emotional forgive me I'm thinking of Lo-Fi Leah, how I miss them. I'm thinking of Final Fantasy IX. There's, there's supposed to be a remake of FF9 coming out eventually, and I'm not, I'm not ready. I'm legitimately not. I am not mentally, emotionally, psychologically. I'm not prepared at all for a Final Fantasy IX remake. It. Listen. I just. I. 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 I don't. I just. I do not trust. I do not trust. Uh, why did Lofi Leah leave? Uh, Lofi Leah just uh, decided that they didn't want to make music anymore. And again, perfectly fair. Perfectly fair, you know? Assuming you'll be able to purchase it and play it. Uh, the th I'm sorry, it's just I don't trust. I don't trust Square Enix. I'm sorry. After what they did, after the way they left um, Final Fantasy 15, just like that, and I'm just like, I don't know, man. I didn't care. I, I didn't care for Final Fantasy 15, but even I was like, damn, you just left it high and dry, huh? It's like, yeah, we're just never gonna finish this game. That's messed up, buddy. I don't. I don't wish that. A, I don't wish that to my worst enemy. So this is going to be um, uh, out of character dialogue. There you go. Such as like, you can change the resolution of the game and the settings. Would you, would you like to change the the size of the font? Do it in the, in the settings, punk. And of course, yes, as I mentioned, there will be a little pattern in the background of this. Again, there, there, there will be a cute pattern in there. I can, I can draw a cute pattern. Don't worry about that. 
That and it, and the pattern will move. Maybe I'm thinking. Alternatively, maybe I don't overthink it. <laughs> a part of me is like, you know, how fancy do I want to be with my text boxes? And then I'm reminded that, you know, no offense, no offense to no offense, okay, to anybody, okay. Listen, simplicity is king. That's why I'm reminded, you know. Don't lose your mind, sweetie, because if you're if I don't know if anybody else remembers, but there was this little known game. Not a lot of people played it, but there was this this little known game. Uh, there was this little known game called I believe its name was Undertale. And the Undertale text boxes literally just looked like this, okay? There you go. Here is your text box. So, like, I'm not gonna stress. <laughs> Hi, May. Welcome back. Welcome. Welcome. May says abandon AAA and embrace embrace uh, first draft indie. I believe the name of the game was on under boob. And I'm like, the text boxes literally looked like this, right? So I'm like, you know. These guys seem good enough to me. <laughs> so there you go. We have three different text boxes. That's it. Now, the way that I'm thinking of compiling this in the game. Whoa, Siska. Siska says, much like Undertal, this game is made by one weirdo with questionable taste. You think I have a taste? <laughs> wow! Oh my god, Siska thinks I have taste! Oh my god! Oh my god! You have said worse things about yourself. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. That's it. That's it, baby. That's love, baby. Uh, okay. So I'm gonna duplicate. I'm gonna duplicate. Duplicate you. So I wanna just. I wanna just create a sample. Of course you have taste. Otherwise, <laughs> May wouldn't even talk to us. Degenerates. It's true, dude. Could you imagine? Is this the Lost in the Woods background? It is. Lofa, uh, exclamation mark music, by the way. All of Lofa Elias music is available on Spotify and YouTube, by the way. So if you would like to listen to this music on your own time, please, for the love of God, go listen to Lofa Elias. Now, this means nothing, by the way. This literally means nothing, but I do want you to know that I was like, Top percentile fans of Lofilia, okay? Every Spotify rap that was like 0 0.00005% of Lofilia listeners. Oh, that's all I want to say, okay? So I'm not styling on you. Okay? But I do have to say. I do have to say I'm the greatest to ever do it. Before me, no. <laughs> Before me, nobody knew how to listen to Lofalia. That's not true. Now I'm saying I, I I I'm saying this with all like I'm attempting to be genuine here, by the way. I'm not just showing off on people. This looks cute actually. This works, this works. Never mind the uh, the grid. Never mind the grid, but like, this works, my man. Yeah, and then the text literally goes inside of here, and it's just like blah 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 blah.
you know? Well, I mean, I guess alternatively could also be like, m -m -m. oh my god, is it like, m -m -m, m -m? this looks good, this looks good. You know what, Maxi, you're all, we're already here. You want to make a template of the other text boxes, Maxi? Probably not. Perfect. Three text boxes. I will have to figure out how to model two 3D objects. Thankfully, they're both just rectangles, so I think I'm going to do just fine. Other than that, that's it, baby. That's it, baby. Do I want to work on some, on some foliage today? I do realize that maybe, just maybe. So what size are my sprites? So far they're 600 by 500, okay. These guys are so cute. I love this little guy. That's the mascot of my game right there. It's the fun guy. He's just a fun little guy. And if you fight him, sometimes tough guy shows up to beat you up. And then the slime, of course. People will say, this is the mascot of your game, Max. And I'm like, uh-uh, uh-uh. The real mascot is this little guy. We're gonna put him on plushies. We're gonna put him on mugs. He's just happy to be here, just like me. I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to be back. Some NPCs, of course, that we've already drawn, drawn, drawn up. So there is another world in which I could go super hard and cut up these sprites and have them like be on different layers that are animated. Not today. Not even for the for the alpha. Maybe for the beta, we will maybe think of doing that, depending if, if I have time. If there isn't already if not enough content in the game. Oh, and then the old sprites, man. It feels like forever since I, since I drew these guys. Oh, I'm getting sentimental now. Alright, we have a minute left in this cycle. So I would like to spend the remaining time on this cycle figuring out what the hell I'm going to do next. Hmm. Well, this is pretty good, though. I mean, like, I was legitimately expecting figuring out the UI to take the entirety of the stream, but this is it, isn't it? Let me double check my notes. I have handwritten notes of things that I want to do for the game. Let me look at this page. The UI is the overlay mouse over being on top. Yeah, that's just another uh, speech um, thought bubble. Text choices go underneath that in the layer system. We have that. Those are the other speech bubbles, thought bubbles. The text box with buttons underneath that is the extra decorations that are not going to be in the alpha. Underneath that is the um, the stage decorations like the the plants and the rock and the and the tree. Behind that is the sprite. Behind that is the, the mat, then the uh, Game Master's uh, window, table, board, uh, screen, and behind that is the table. That's it, baby. All right. Don't mind me turning on the AC. It's getting warm over here in sunny California. I'm, now that we're on break, by the way, I'm going to get up and I'm going to stretch. And I hope you do so as well. We respect breaks on this stream. We do not crunch. The only thing crunching are my ankles when, I, when I'm stretching. See, here's the deal, you know, is that... Is that Lady Kitty Lynn, my incredible, beautiful, incredible, uh, amazing, sexy wife... Uh, they remind me. Our ankles supposed to do that? Wait, hold up. Your ankles don't crack when you stretch? Anyways, um, Kitty keeps reminding me that this game is gonna come out when it comes out. The game comes out when it comes out. I'm not gonna break myself just to make the game come out, you know, half a day earlier. 
my no mine do but my knees also crack when i exist and i thought i was broken no 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 oh i, I wish you could hear my my ankles cracking and it, it really it, it isn't the the ankles by the way it's actually just, it's the tendons the tendons they attach to one another almost magnetically you make them pull away the smoothest peanut butter dude could you imagine Dude, dude. Okay, okay. People in chat, thoughts. Crunchy or smooth peanut butter? Go. This is important, okay? So, okay. Now, I am reaching for the ceiling. I am lowering my arms very slowly to my side. You gotta be gentle with your arms. I am T-posing to assert my dominance. Depends on what you're making, obviously. You're, you're spreading it on toast. I'm gonna lower my arms gently, and now I am going to gyrate my hips in the style of Chippadees. My good friend Chippadees. We're gonna reverse the polarity on the on on these damn hips. Also, we might do a little bit more dailies today than usual, by the way. That's fair. That's fair, man. I appreciate that. Dale said creamy, and, I, and honestly, me and Dale shaking hands. I prefer smooth peanut butter all the way through, I'm sorry. Also, I didn't tell you, but I, I bend down and touch my toes. And now, you know what, actually? We've been streaming for almost two hours. We have been streaming for almost two hours. I think I should go take a bio break. So here's what's gonna happen. I am going to pop an ad real quick and then I'll be back, okay? So please don't go nowhere. I'm gonna be right back, okay? Beep boop. I'm back. Thank you for waiting. And now we resume. The previously scheduled programming. Welcome back. Welcome. All right, so here's what I'm thinking. We have 25 minutes left of work today. So what I'm thinking is I am going to make a larger canvas and we're going to draw some placeholder some holder like um, decorations for the actual layout of the game okay so first off 25 minutes on the clock get set go and now I'm gonna grab this this uh, sprite screen that I have I'm gonna call it Ferrum Fantasia um, decos no what what what, is, what are the things that you put in a stage for a production what is it called Props? As uh, theater kits, there has to be a theater kit on the chat, right? Are they called props? Like if you have a cart in the middle of the stage in a play, is that a prop?
Is that a prop? See, where is Kendra when we when we need him? I'm gonna call them props for now. All right, so we're gonna go over here. We're gonna leave all of these sprites we already have. Nothing. Th these these are gonna stay here, okay? I am gonna kill these monsters though. We don't need these old monsters. These people stay here. I want to just remove as many of these. I feel like they're props. I, I, I would have called them drops, but I, I would I would have called them props, but now I have doubts seated in my mind. I'm sorry that is my fault. I'm sure it's good. I'm sure it's good. Remove you, remove you and you and you and you and you and you. All right. <laughs> Sorry I talk weird? Absolutely not. I can't read. I have dyslexia. Don't worry about it. But Maxi, you're a writer. You write books for a living. You have dyslexia? Yeah, buddy. Life's unfair. Life is unfair. All right. So I want, th I want this to be twice as big and twice as wide. So it's going to be one... 1,200 by 1,000. There you go. And now we're going to grab ourselves a drawing guide. <laughs> all right. So let's see. I would like to grab all of you. All of you, you're going to, well, maybe not all of you. Most of, most of you. So, in this way, we have a point of reference for what our art looked like before and what it looks like now to scale, right? Oh, no worries, Fifi. Thank you for coming in and thank you for the good wishes. I appreciate it. Have a lovely rest of your day and or night. Bye-bye. So long, eh, Bowser? Alright, so. Here's the dealio. Here's the dealio. So. I want to create some foliage. So, we're gonna make some foliage. I believe that it that is, um... I believe that is French for uh, greenery. So. <laughs> Yo, Siska, um, have you shared that shit post anywhere? I believe you, thank you. How come, how come I don't get to see it? I mean, you don't have to sh this for Kitty and God alone. Okay, all right, that's fair. I sure hope Kitty and I are not married, so I'll see it anyway, but that's fine. I can wait. I'm a good potato, I can wait. So, the following are just straight up. These are going to be just straight up, like, placeholder art, art assets, so I am not going to stress out. I want two patches of grass, one rock, and a tree. That's it. So first off, und patch, und patch of grass. Do you ever, oh my god, oh my god. Do you ever get an itch in, in one of your eyes and it's just like you're in the middle of doing something and you're like I'm not gonna scratch my my eye until I finish this <laughs> this work cycle or I finish this action right and I was drawing that goddamn point of the shrub and my eye was like you're gonna need to scratch me like really quickly you're gonna have to scratch this eye like now
perfect. I forgot that I can just use the... Um, I forgot that I can just use the... Um, the word I'm looking for is the symmetry tool. You know what I should do as well? Never draw anything from memory. Always have a reference. So let's look up patch of grass asset. There we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's do like a uh, 2D. There we go. That now this is more like it. Never again. Never work from memory. Always have a reference. Even if you think you know what you're going to do. Let let us begin first with the le shrub. Le berry shrub. Hey Maxi, can can you draw Scooby Doo from reference? From reference for me, uh, real quick. Yeah, you got it. You want a Scooby Doo from reference? Okay. Scooby Dooby Doo. Scooby Dooby Doo. Where are you? Okay, so first thing. Okay, so if you want to draw Scooby Doo, first and foremost. Sorry, my eye is, is itching again. Okay, so if you want to draw Scooby Scooby Dooby Doo, first. Okay, step one. Don't forget his nose, okay? You gotta get his nose. Now, you have to draw the top of his head, okay? It's really easy to forget. People are gonna people get lost on the ears. Don't worry about the ears, okay? Now, he has a really big wide head. Make sure that you get that drawn, okay? Now, people don't people don't realize this, okay? But actually, he has actually a case of double chin. It's very, very true. And don't forget that also. He has a backpack. You have you have to don't forget to draw Scooby Dooby Doo's backpack, okay? And there you go. Is there anything else? And any, any other any questions? Siska's leaving the stream from that. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. Siska, please forgive me. Siska, please forgive me. I love you, Siska. Have a lovely rest of your night. Please rest up, friendo. Get some sleep. Love you. So long, eh, Bowser. All right, where was I? I was. I was like, I hope I didn't delete the bush. That bush looked good. No, let's literally just have it be flat. Max, just have it be flat. There you go. Okay. Now, underneath you, it does kind of look like there's a face in here, I will say. It does kind of look like there's a face, but don't worry about that. <laughs> May, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know what that is, but as long as it's a good energy, I appreciate it, thank you. Do we have anyone with a, uh... Little candies, I love that. Are there any masters of of dream dictionaries in chat right now? Little red raspberry candies, I love that. Are there any masters of of the dream dictionaries in chat right now? Wait, hold up. Are they a Canadian thing? Uh Main Arts Swedish Berries. May I'm I'm afraid this might be a, a is it Canadian? 
The name Swedish Berries is trademarked by Vander Vanderlei Candy, a division of Cadbury Canada. Swedish berries are made in Canada. They they I mean they look delicious. They look delicious. May May, did you did you spend your whole life thinking they were like universal? I did. Oh my god, I love that. I mean, like it happens, you know? There are things that I wish every kid got to enjoy. I wish every kid got to enjoy the chupa chups, but you know. Unfortunately, they didn't. You know? And that's just life, baby. <laughs> oh, no! Mace says, I'm shaking. This is Smarties all over again. Oh, no. There are... We do have Swedish fish who are also red. There are also candy. It's true. I should not have drawn what I did. I wonder if, if Swedish fish are Swedish berries and Swedish fish the same. Oh, here we go. Okay, okay, okay. So, there are three different shaped gummies that are all share the same color, flavor, and texture. Gummy feet, Swedish fish, and Swedish berries. Okay. So I, I okay. If the, if they're the same flavor and texture, then I, then I've basically had them. No, I, 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 I get the vibe. I get, I get the vibe. Kitty really likes Swedish fish. They're better if you squish them a bunch first. I, I kind of love that. Like it somehow releases the 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 flavonoids. Can we talk about my favorite word, by the way? Flavonoids. What what a, what a good word. And now let's put, you know what? Let's put the little red berries. They're gonna be more like orange, but whatever, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Ah, yes. If it isn't the good, the classic. Well, now it looks like Zeka. Oh my god, it looks even more like Zeka. That looks like too many berries, but we'll see. We'll see if it works, okay? Of course, the ones in the shadow don't have the highlight because they are, of course, in shadow. Now, unfortunately, with green, the only good highlight that I have is purple, which I'm not happy with. What if we just use more green? I kind of hate it. But then again, this is supposed to be a placeholder. What every bush needs is a perfectly placed apple for Yoshi. Very true. 
Very true, Ronnie. How could I miss such a fundamental truth of our world? Well, in that case, then forget about these berries. Then. The last thing I want is just to add a little bit of high highlights. Or just literally on the top. It's usually about this away that I give the... Also, are you the right dark color, by the way? You are. Perfect. Alright, well, there is un bush. Okay, that's a bush. Boom. Un bush. Okay, now give... I want a patch of grass, please. May I please have... Good sir. Good sir. May I please have your finest patch of grass, please. You don't mind me going quiet for a second. I'm uh I'm in the zone as they say. In the grass zone. Mostly because of all, I'm drawing all these grasses. Alright, so I want I want a little patch in the front. But I don't want it to be symmetric. So I'm looking at like a little bit like this. Now can I please edit this polyline? Yes I can. Maxi is in the bushes, with the bushes, it's true. I don't know if I like- I don't know if I like you. I don't know if I like you. You're a little bit too spiky for me. I don't know if- I, I legitimately don't know if I like this guy. Then again... Please remind me of my motto. It's just a placeholder, Maxi. So how about we just color the damn thing and move on with our lives, Maxi? God, I love that Meyer Brothers theme in the background. Actually, I realize you should all be that this dark tone, actually. I will explain what I'm doing shortly. If an explanation ever does follow, of course. Maxi, what are you doing? I'm pa I'm painting by feel, okay? I'm painting by feel. Is that the same as painting from memory? Absolutely not. Because I have never drawn a patch of grass before. But there's always a first time. I'll try everything once. Maxi, did you just reference Overwatch in 2024, the year of our Lord? Um, I'm sorry that I did. You know what? Incoming YouTube apology, by the way. I'm sorry. I know it's really insensitive of me to reference Overwatch. We all know Overwatch is dead. Some of us are still mourning the loss of Overwatch 1. I know that I am. I know my wife is. So I really had no right stirring up all these dark feelings in all of us. Let me get the ukulele real quick, okay? Let me, let me let me spawn a quick little song. You know what? I I you know a little bush? You know you know you know Bush Jr. I like to call you Bush Jr. by the way. I didn't like you at first. But now you've grown up on me. Hey 
didn't used to like you at first. You know, I thought you were a, I thought you were a little piece of, sh I, th I thought you were a little piece of crap. But now, I'm looking at you now, through a whole new lens. Why not? Why not? At least grab a rarer instrument. Oh yeah, t time time to get. <laughs> what is the name of the Australian Australian giant flute? The diggery do. Yeah, it's the the, the diggery do. Thank you. Got I love a didgeridoo. The didgeridoo is just a silly little guy, okay? Maxi, how did you make that sound with your mouth? You you don't Do you don't want me to tell you how the things in <laughs> the things in my mouth make sounds? Excuse me, Max? Maxi, this is uh this is a safe for work stream, Maxi? That absolutely does not look good. So what? We take we take off the symmetry then, huh? How it is, you're getting work done. See? Safe for work. Thank you! See, May gets it. It's safe for you to get work done here. There's empty pixels. How dare you? Who told you you could have empty pixels up in here, buddy? I will say though, I am not. Ha I am absolutely unhappy with uh, this shading. What if we did like the darker shading, the darker side of shading? Welcome. Uh, my name is M. Karen, and today I'm going to talk to you about the darker side of shading. Maxi, it's just a placeholder, Maxi. Don't lose your head. Don't lose your brain. I don't have a brain, thankfully, so I'm not particularly concerned about that. That looks like ass. I hate it. Max, well, why not just have the black outline, Maxi? I feel like that also looks like ass. Is it time to just get just break out the the purple outline? Uh, you know what? Screw it. Just purple outline. Let's go. Give it a purple outline and never think about it ever again, okay? All right, done. Done. All right, we have a bush. We have a shrub. Now, in the next... Can I draw a tree in the next 34 seconds? The line is too thick. Never mind. Do, do over, do over, please. The line was way too thick. Draw a woman. Chip, uh, but Ronnie, I would first have to name a woman. Oh, really? You draw women? Okay, name one of their albums. What happened to you? What happened here? All right, fellas. Fellas, yeah, fellas, yeah. Has your girlfriend got the butt? Tell her to shake it. Shake that healthy butt. Baby, good back. A uh, tree acid 2D, please. 
Could you just show? Can I can I see a tree, please? Mayhaps, may I may I ha perhaps see a tree that I can use as reference? All right, now, are we supposed to be like, mo you know, moving on with uh, dailies? Yes. But I assure you, this will only take un minuten. Now, I would like this to be asymmetric. Thank you very much. I would like a little branch sticking out. I would like the branch to not be to be perpendicular to the floor, please. Thank you very much. Let's go with this is this looks way too straight. Haha, 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 haha. Uh but that's life. I'm just kinda like. Uh with the hole I guess the hole would be better if it was just like text like No, nah, I'm just gonna make the hole. And not worry about it. There we go. Let's put a little bit of a, of those like tree like veins. We, you know, you know them. You love them. Trees, those silly little dudes. Now I need to go on top. And I need. I need this tree to be taller for one. Okay, so. Magnifique. Perfect. Now. Oh, it kind of looks like a face! What if I put faces in all of the trees, huh? What if all. Okay, hear me out, hear me out. Okay, I have an idea for you. Okay, tell me if this is a cursed idea for a game or not. What if. When you. When. When your weapon hit a tree. It cried out in pain. Huh? 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 Pretty funny, huh? If you think that is evil and or cursed and or bad, please don't come at me. Uh, at uh, Hidetaka Miyazaki. Creator of Dark Souls, who thought that was a good idea. Why would you let me hit the trees and then the trees cry in pain? That's messed up, man. Why would you do that? Just cuz? Oh, that was that was good. That was good. That felt good. No. No. Like I'm disciplining a dog. No. Now I really do be looking like an eye, Maxi. You know what? It's fine. Just move along. Just moving right along. <gasps> Everyone hold up. Everyone hold up. Kitty. Kitty has the, the, the forbidden knowledge. You, you do? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Kitty has the- I can't even tell you what the forbidden knowledge is. I'm sorry. This is the worst possible bit I could ever be going on. Because Kitty has discovered the forbidden knowledge and I can't tell you anything about it. I'm sorry. Excuse me? Oh my god. You're, sorry, Kitty's, Kitty's hitting me with all the, the the dark knowledge. We have gone from forbidden to dark knowledge, by the way. 
Kitty straight up just texted me that somebody had the forbidden knowledge all along. We knew, we knew the secret to um to the Coca-Cola recipe the entire time. Is it Coke? No. <laughs> I was gonna make this joke way darker than I than I needed to, uh, but I'm not gonna because that would be really messed up. That actually doesn't look that bad. That doesn't look that bad. It's a Michael Klein. That's right. Every can of Coke contains at least 0.3% Michael Klein by volume. I didn't want to tell you guys because I knew you were all going to freak out, but it's true. Every time you slurp a can of Coke, you're actually slurping a little bit of Michael Klein. I hate this tree. I, I already hate... Why am I committing to this tree? I hate him. I hate this tree. I hate everything this tree stands for. I should call it. It's oh, you know what? Actually, it's, it's not even one thirty. Once it one, once it's one thirty, I can call it. Also, forgive me for drawing this in like the worst possible like canvas. Let me make it easier for you. There you go. There now you can see. I can't believe. I, sorry, I have to text Kitty. I can't believe someone had the hidden knowledge this entire time. I can't believe it. <laughs> yeah, give me life react on stream. <laughs> Kitty's gonna hate that bit. Max, please do not make content out of the hidden knowledge, Maxie. No one is supposed to know this hidden knowledge, Maxie. Ah, uh, but yet I do. Yet I possess the hidden knowledge now. All right, what 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 else do you need, Mr. Tree? I will not be giving you fruit, Mr. Tree. We already have enough in the in the form of batteries earlier, so I'm going to have to keep hit you with a I'm going to give you a face. I will give you a face, but I will not give you any fruit. Now we're going to go underneath and I I I pretty much want this to be dark here. Also, I realized that I do actually want an extra layer of the darkest possible color. Nope, nope, the, the second darkest possible color to be underneath. Is it, oh, maybe the transparency is good. <laughs> Hi, Simon. Welcome back. Welcome, welcome. How you doing today? I'm clowning today. Welcome. I'm clowning. Please do not do not look at these temporary assets. They are temporary, please. They are temporary and therefore quite bad. Please do not look at these. Whatever you do, do not stare at the... Whatever you do, do not, under any circumstance... Look at the assets.
Kitty is not gonna text back. Kitty will not will not let me do the thing that I that I was thinking of doing. Then again, it's probably for the best that I don't that I don't commit <laughs> I don't, I don't commit crimes. Maxi, you're giving people a really bad impression of yourself, Maxi. I also would very much like I'm doing fine. I also got a new audio monitors today. Dude, let's go. Exciting. I absolutely hate this sprite. But you should all be proud of me cuz look, look at my character development, okay? Instead of whining about it <laughs> I am still whining about it but here I am like you know just getting the work done isn't that good look I'm getting the work done I hate this these placeholders look terrible but that's life uh, I gotta color the top of them lines let's grab which color did I grab for the for the sh shrub let's grab this shrub Let's also make you like an assisted layer, which will just make the rest of this work easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I'm also just gonna, I'm just gonna flatten you. Uh, honestly, brother, I'm just gonna flatten you, okay? I'm gonna do like with my cat, I'm gonna flatten him with pets. Nothing like you're petting a cat. And then the little guy is like, that's right. Make me into a pancake, that's right. This is exactly what I wanted, says the cat. What's wrong? Y'all don't flatten your cats? Definitely not! Damn it, kitty! Kitty has the hidden knowledge and won't let me have the hidden knowledge. I'm so pissed. <laughs> All right, there we go. Ah, I get it, Simon. Me want to put on a binder? Oh my god. That's cute. This is the kind of comedy that I that I want. There you go. We have made a few placeholder assets for the for the environment. I ha I still have a rock to make, but you know what? We're done for today. Uh, I am gonna unplug my iPad. You're gonna hear a sound that sounds like I just unplugged your monitor. I promised I didn't do it. I haven't done it yet. I'm kidding, that's a joke, I did it, it's done. I need to unplug my iPad so we can get back, we can get done with work and we can start doing dailies! Woo! Cool. So, what are dailies? Dailies are the segment of the stream where we play games you can only play today. We're talking Wordle, we're talking connections, Dales is better sound than the Ford I'm renting. Oh my god. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So now, hey, ladies. Yeah. So, really quickly, though, before we go anywhere else, I do want to remind you, by the way. Huh? No. There we go. Uh, I've been streaming for about two hours and a half, so I think this is a great time to tell you all a very important message, and that is... This stream is supported by viewers just like you. <laughs> Donate to coffee.com slash mkaren to support this stream directly. <laughs> all donations go directly to me and help improve the stream and help me pay the bills. All stuff is very much appreciated. And if you donate, a beautiful machine voice will read out your donation. 
You can also support the stream by becoming a YouTube member! Click the join button on the screen and you'll get cool emotes and a batch next to your name that uh, evolves over time. We're getting our first handful of rainbow yantos, which is incredible, so uh, yeah. Also, my books and my games are available on my website, mkiranauthor.com. Please go there, uh, download my role-playing games, they're free to download, play my games, and if you like them, I don't know, give me a book. And last but by no means least, of course, like and subscribe! Likes are free, and so are subscribes, and they help a channel like myself, so please consider supporting me. And that's it for the ad read. Let's play some games now. Beep boop! Alright. Done and done and done. There's Lofailia playing. It is, alright. Let us step now into the world. The world of dailies. Let me take a sip of the water. All right. Dailies. First off, Wardle. Can I guess a five a five letter word in six chances? I'm going to open. Oh, focus is good. Let's go with focus. Nothing. Uh sat satin. A T and an I. So I'm looking at like I'm looking at like this setup. It's not CH. Huh. What could this be? No. No. Pity? No. Is it pity? I guess it's pity with a Y, huh? Okay, so we haven't gotten an E. It could be like mitten? Smitten? Litten. Let's try mitten. Never mind. Let's not try mitten. Um, I I need a wor a word with the e and a t so we can scout the e as well. Well, I need an i actually. What if it's? What if it's this? Et key. Et ge. Et p. No, there's no way. That's a that's a really weird like. Combination of syllables. Petri? Good guess, Dale. Uh, that did get us the, the E. So. So clear. I, I think it has to be. Uh, it has to be this, unfortunately. So what? It ends in a D? Lighted? Guided? Heighted? Tighted, whited, witted, witted. No. Okay, so in that case, it has to be. It has to be this then. With. No. Middle, middle. Middle takes two D's. Is it title? Oh my god, it's title, isn't it? Boo! <laughs> it's not title. It, it please tell me it's not it's not titty. Don't is it tithe? It must be tithe, right? Okay, yeah. We made it! Bingo! Alright. Let's do the connections. Can we guess four groups of four? The words are dirt, mind, share, regard, post, intelligence, follow, stake, observe, interest, column, secrets, poll, information, percentage, pillar. Well, information, intelligence, secrets. Hmm. Well, a pillar, a poll, a post. And a stake are things that go on the ground. One away? A column! It's a column! Upright support! Yeah, yeah, they literally got it just now. Okay, so... Oh, wait, dirt? Secrets? Information intelligence? 
Okay, yeah, yeah. Gathered by spies. Okay. Wow, spies gather dirt? Wow. I uh, insert a joke here about the specific science of studying soil. I didn't know there were soil modulists. Soil job soil modulists. Yeah, that's absolutely the bit. Um, observe. Wait, no, no, no. Timeshare. No. <laughs> oh, that's that's cool, man. I like that. Share, share stale percentage and interest. So, oh my god, yeah. It's, 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 it's freaking, uh, freaking the stock market. I mean, like, I joke, but I, I did, I did used to do plant stuff. And I'm not talking about um, uh, the smoking kind. Heed as rules follow mind of Sir Brigard. Interesting. Let, I, we hate strands every single time, but let's do it. Let's find some words. The long run. Uh, I see marathon already. Wait, 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 wait. Thon. Thon. No? Huh. No, no, I, 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 I see it. Ma ra thon. You thought macaroni? Good one, May. Good one. I love saying macaroni brings up the Ronnie emoji. I love that. Triathlon. Try. Try. I need another H. Thumb, thumb, thumb. No, there's only one H, though, so it couldn't be triathlon. I mean, I guess we could, like, try. I don't even know how we would get to the athon, actually. Yeah, anyways, clearly there's two words here and, like, three words here, right? So. Okay, what is another another metric? Dude, they really have to come at me with marathons, man. I haven't run a marathon. Mile? You think mile is in here? Probably not. Track? Oh my god. Ronnie? Ronnie, thank you. What do your elven eyes see, Ronnie? Thank you very much. What do you call it when you pass when you pass over you you pass someone like a thingy and like it's a re relay? Is really really re relay in here? Rally? No, there's not two L's. I'll take a noun though. Triathlon. Where's triathlon? There's only one, buddies, there's only one H. You can't reuse it. Am I crazy? There you go. That's absolutely for sure. Um. Mm? Ah, uh, that will do it for sure. Alright, give me a hand, please. Pace. Oh my god. It's like the easiest possible word. Um. Uh, oh, speed? No. Speed. 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 Speeder. <laughs> Speeder's gate? Well, there's gate. Oh, go! Oh, that's just a word, huh? Okay, all right, it's fine. I'm not mad. Clearly, this is speed. Speed. My favorite game. Yeah. Speed. Speedo? No. The cr the cr the crarin. My favorite spell in in uh, SMT. 
train. Oh, thank God for hints. What the what the hell is speed? It was just speed? I'm pissed. I hate this game. I hate this game. There's still three more words to find. There must be short words then. The, the need for speed. Oh, it's a trainer. Oh my god. Like a shoe. It's coarse now. I see it now. Okay, what the hell is the... You're just one word? Rit, rit, written out. On tit. There you go. Yeah, there you go. It's on. It's on tit for sure. No, uniter. No. On it. Try. Try. To noun. Fellas, fellas, we might, we might be, we might be at our, at the end of our road. By the way. Well, unless I can guess a bunch of words, actually. Uh, cape. We did well, gamers. We tried. Cat. Unfortunately, that's too short. Rain. Oh my god. Rain. Oh my god. Let's go. What's the last one? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Taken down by a gamer. Oh shit, you don't say. That's where all the letters are, huh? Damn, damn. Wow. We're incredible, fellas. We're incredible. All right, fellas, the stream the stream is not going anywhere until we figure out what word this is. Try now on it. What is this word? Clearly, it has, it can then an I. Is it an R? It's not itinerary. Is it French? It probably is French. Like something new it? Red no, knew it. Knew it. I knew it. All right, fellas, fellas, this is bad, fellas. Human adult cannot find word and puzzle, huh? Okay. Track. Marathon speed. Pace. Is there a give up button? Absolutely not. Trainer. What else happens in a marathon? They give you little drinks? What else happens in a marathon? They give you little drinks? You get a little rest? There's a little ribbon? Trophy? No. Ronnie! <laughs> Ronnie, no. Nutrition! Oh my god. Thank you, Dale. Shoutouts to Dale, by the way. Bingo! Welcome to Guess the Game, by the way. Uh, can we guess the game by just looking at this image? Um, this looks like a recent game. Could this be Wolfenstein, the new Colossus? No, 72% on Metacritic. This looks crispy. This looks good? Who are you? Is this Resi? No, 72% score? Absolutely not. Oh my god, what game is this? This looks 2010s? No, this looks crisp, though. Ah, oh, damn it! Ronnie's correct! This PS3, Xbox 360, and PC. Okay. Some sort of... World War II... Game. Is that a library? 
I don't think no no this is clearly a building at night level up you can spend points now action RPG shooter stealth what game what is this what is this Silent Hill homecoming I don't think so wasn't this that game silent protocol Alpha protocol. Holy crap, it was alpha protocol. Holy crap. This was um I believe this was BioWare. No, it's Obsidian. They tried to make a um a role playing game with shoot <laughs> She's vibing. Oh, don't let her be. What the hell? Anyways. All right, we missed 3 days. Let's go. 700. Can we guess this game? What is this even? This is Eternal. This is, this is. This is. This is. What is the name of the game that I'm playing? I can't even see. Give me one skip. This is Diablo. This is Diablo. This is Diablo 3. This is Diablo 3. This is not Diablo 3. Wait. I have this game. Hold up. I'm, am I going to boot up Steam? World of Warcraft. Oh, my God. Wait, no. I, I, I'm I booting up Steam, by the way. I, I have this game. This is this is a, uh, an isometric um, Diablo-like. With the story that kind of is le leans a little close to Chrono Trigger. It's called... Where the hell is it? I see you. Last Epoch! It's Last Epoch. I knew it. 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 There you go. Yeah, this game is fun, by the way. I like this game. Okay, now I can close Steam. Welcome back, Kitty. Kitty, can I have the forbidden knowledge for after stream? I'm just curious. 700 on one. Okay, what game is this? This is Warcraft 1. This is Warcraft. This is Warcraft. This is Warcraft. This is not Warcraft. This is... You're an old game. Oh my... This is a golf game? Oh, it's, it's Super Golf? Super Golf? It's 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 a golf game for the freaking for the freaking SNES Mario Golf. It's not. It's a top-down game. Wait, is this? Is this Jurassic Park? No, no, it's for the. Is it Jurassic Park? <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. It's Jurassic Park. I I thought I was, I was thinking of the Sega Genesis version. There it is. Look, he's so chunky. Dude, look, he looks like a Lego piece. I love him. Damn, damn. I have yet to miss. How did the art go? The art, the art went well. We figured out all the things we needed. I even started making some uh, preview assets. This looks like how black heads are made. A little piece of debris enters a pore, and then your body is like, send in the antibodies, just nuke that whole thing. 97 score on Metacritic? What the hell are you? Is this dreams? Wait, on the, oh, this is Mario Galaxy. Mario Galaxy, I'm gonna go with two. There we go. Maxi, why did you guess two? Uh, I think people receive two better than one. One of these is it will be Twilight Princess, by the way. Uh, this is Mass Effect. This is Mass Effect 2. This is not Mass Effect. This is... Is this Cyberpunk 2077? 
No, this is a Halo! Halo ODST. I always open with ODST. No, okay. Uh, Halo 4. There you go. Maxi, you're so good. I just get. I just guessed the Halo. And that's it. We're done. The first shot did kind of look like Nier. You're not wrong. Alright. Pokedoku. Can we make a Sudoku backwards filled with Pokemon? Let's go. Poison, Normal, Fighting, Sinnoh, Hisui, and Baby. Baby, Poison, Pokemon? Baby, Poison? Well, a Fighting Baby. That's Tyrogue, my man. That's Tyrogue. Just the little guy. Baby Poison, does Poipal count? Is Poi I don't know. A first stage Pokemon who cannot breed, but their evolutions can. Interesting. Well, a normal baby. I mean, that's Cleffa, my man. That's Cleffa. Cleffa can breed? Also, I, I realized that Cleffa is fairy type now. A fighting his Hisui? A fighting Sinnoh. Wait, 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 wait. I'm almost there. Hold up, I'm almost there. Isn't Samurai poison type? I think it is, right? It's not! Kitty, what's the baby poison? I'm, I'm choking over here, Kitty. Fighting Hisui. Dude, I only 100... Talk, it's Toxel. Oh my god, you're so right. Good call, Kitty, good call. Kitty, what's a Fighting Hisui in Pokemon? Not necessarily, Ronnie, because, like, as there, as the... As the thing says, that Pokemon cannot be able to breed. That's what makes a Pokemon a baby. A normal baby. Isn't Cleaver... Ah, oh, it's Cleaver! It's not! Oh my god, this is the, this has been the worst possible... This has been the worst. Uh, isn't Scootopy... We're gonna fail this? No, we're gonna make it. But uh, Hisui Normal is bravery airy. Wait, Hisui Normal? Wouldn't that also just be like um Stantler? What's the name of the Stantler evolution? I, I think he's normal psychic, right? Weird deer, thank you. Thank God. Uh, a normal Sinnoh Pokemon. Uh, that's Bidoof, my man! That's Bidoof! Love that little guy. A Sinnoh fighting Pokemon. Yeah, let me think. Name, name one Sinnoh fighting Pokemon. Just a dude. Honestly, like, it's true. Fellas, what's a, what's a fighting Pokemon from Sinnoh? Quick. I can't think. I'm thinking of Pokemon who were in... I'm blank. He says I'm blanking? Oh, no. Chansey's not fairy, right? Is th is Chansey still normal or did they change Chansey to fairy? Wait a minute. Isn't... Isn't a Surreal? Isn't a Surreal normal? It is! Okay, all right, we got there. All right, I want to know. I want to know. Can you show me? Ah, uh, here's the four options were eagerly buff. God damn it, Dale, you were correct. Happiny, Munchlax, Asuril. Bidoo is the other poison baby. Riolu and Tyrogue, okay. Sneasel is fighting. And the CGI, okay. Oh, I forgot about Overquill. What a great name. I love Overquill. All right. Welcome to game though! The game about guessing games. Can we guess a game by the cover? Oh god, what is this game? Oh god. God, this this looks like some weep shit. 
This looks like someone who has bad... Only a person with bad taste would like this game. Only someone with incredibly bad taste. This, this looks like a game that someone would like if they had bad taste. I don't know who this who this girl is, but if you have a tattoo of her, you have bad taste for sure. Okay. Oh, this is going to be hard. I'm going to get a skip. Mmm, there's some sort of street pole. Yeah, there's some sort of street pole in here. Oh, it's a guy! It was a guy the whole time. Okay. That's a guy. Okay, I need more info. What? what is he Spider-Man? Why is he upside down? Okay. Clearly, I'm telling you, I'm looking at these three. These people don't live together. So clearly, they live in three houses. Oh. Oh, I guess it must be this game then. Oh, that was easy. That was easy. I don't know what that game is, but it looks bad. Anyways, can we guess a game by its artwork? Uh, this is Resident Evil Village. It's not? This is Metal Gear Survive. It's not on this list. All right. Is it Death Stranding? Oh, this is it's for honor. It's for honor. Okay. All right. <laughs> you were close though, kitty. You were, I believed I believed you. Can we guess a game using keywords? War crime and drugs. Is this uh this war of mine? Police amnesia politics. Uh this is what is the what is the game? Was oh, it GTA? No way. Uh what is the name of that game? That game with the politics in it? Disco Elysium. <laughs> Bingo! <laughs> What's the name of that game with the politics? Yeah, the, 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 the people who go to the disco and then they're like, wow. Wow, is Angle here? Is Pascal here? Wow. Can we guess a game based on just asking questions? All right, I'm gonna open with Mighty Number no. 9. Before 2016, thank God. Let's go with Conkers. Between 2002 and 2015. Okay, this is this is easy. Let's cut this in half. Give me the Witcher 1. The Witcher. It is a single player game between 2008 and 2015. Okay. Let's try Nier. I like that. Let's try Nier. Nier Replicant. Between 2011 and 2015. Okay. I mean, that still gave us info. Third person. It's a third person game. Is this the app? Is this Diablo 3? Oh, I, I guess that does have, I guess that does have multiplayer. 2013, 2015. Give me a one-time clue, please. It is a real-time strategy simulator strategy indie. An indie simulation strategy. Is this RimWorld? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> that was like indie tactic simulation it it has to be rim world oh my god i'm good i'm good at this i'm good at this all right uh, let's close today's stream actually who is streaming is nobody streaming today is ronnie streaming today i don't think they are they did have an update it's true i don't think ronnie's streaming today they're streaming in two days. What about Nums? Let me go check on Nums. Nomia has no life schedule. Okay. In that case, Roadhouse 2 in the name of the father. Can we get to the to, between these movies? Jake Gyllenhaal. Connor McGregor? Is that the brother of Ian McGregor? Oh, 
Post Malone? So who's in the name of the father? You got this, babe? Oh no. Kitty, don't have faith in me. Kitty's having faith in me, and I'm like, I'm looking at these. Who are these people? Who are you? No, no, I did it. It's pretty easy. They're streaming tomorrow. Thank you for checking, Ronnie. Daniel Day Lewis. Who's Daniel Day Lewis? That name sounds familiar. He was in Gangs of New York. Okay. Jake Gillinghall. I mean, like. Wait, you were in Spooderman. Okay, you were in Spooderman. Were you by any chance in uh, Abraham Lincoln? No. Spirit Untamed. John Mulaney and the Sack Lunch Bunch. These are all children. What are you doing here, Jake Gyllenhaal? Hey, Richard Kind is in here? Natasha Leon? Don't know who that is. I just thought I just felt like saying that name. Okay, let's try. Let me know if you need a hint. I mean, like, I'll, 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 I'll take, just, just direct me somewhere, because I'm, Prince of Persia, don't tell me. Oh, that's so funny, Alfred Molina's in this movie. Kitty, just give me, like, one tiny little hint. Go to Lincoln and you have your answer, oh my god. Oh, dude, I'm cooked. My brain is so soft today. I swear, it can't be this. I have to look at the actors in here. Oh, God damn it, kitty. God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. Oh, Sally Field. God damn it. Good job, Kitty. Bingo. Oh my god. Yeah, I it, I would not have been that short. I would have definitely taken a little bit longer than that. Can we sneak in one more challenge real quick? Is that Van Dam? Double team and the fugitive. I mean, like, who's in double team? Dennis Rodman? Mickey Rourke? We can go places. We can go places. Double team. Okay. Well, we just have to end up at... I'm pretty sure... Okay. Wait, hold up, hold up. Mickey, wait, what? Wait, this, this is easy. No, it's not easy. It's not easy. Unless... No. Can we go from Star Wars 2? No. You can get to Marvel, we're set. Okay, a movie with Robert Downey Jr., and any of these suckers. Joe Pontalino. He was in the... Ma Who was he in the Matrix? Wait, he was in Bad Boys for Life. Were you in The Expendables by any chance? Wait, let me go back and check on Tommy Lee Jones. He was not, okay. Oh, no, I hate that kitty. No, jump scare? Jump scare? Legitimate jump scares, by the way. Oh! He was in the... Oh, okay, okay. all right. He was in Captain America the, with the Winter Soldier. Uh, guess what? Guess what? Uh, was uh, Robert Downey Jr. in here? He wasn't, but guess what? Chris Evans was in a little-known movie called Endgame with Robert Downey Jr., who was in Iron Man. Two, with Mickey Rourke, who was in Double Team. All right, that was a little bit long than I, longer than I would have liked. The fastest path was Har Harrison Ford into Raiders of the Lost Ark into Paul Freeman into Double Team. Okay. All right.
Fellas, thank you for joining me today. I will be back tomorrow. On tomorrow's stream, Plixworth and I are bringing in a role-playing campaign. You're going to meet the part-timer. And we're going to have fun adventures in Iron Valley tomorrow. Please stay tuned for that. It's going to be a hilarious and very, very silly campaign. Other than that, on Friday, we'll be playing Bellatra. It's going to be just a chill chatting stream. Featuring me losing my mind at the game. But other than that, that's it. Short week today. Sorry that I missed the, f the first two days. I was not feeling good. I'm feeling better now, though. And with that... I would like to remind you, by the way, to please consider liking the video. It helps a lot. And we're moving away from secret words, by the way. We're now doing question. The question of the day is... Question of the day is... <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Tell me the name. Tell me what is your favorite comfort snack okay for me it's a peanut butter and jelly sandwich go into the ch into the comments of this video and tell me what your favorite comfort snack is okay and with that thank you so much for joining me i'm done for today i hope you have a lovely lovely rest of your day and i will see you all next time Bye bye beep boop Cool. cool.